Hey guys, it is Marianne from Thrive with your tip of the day. Today, I wanted to expand on the tip I did yesterday. So if you haven't seen that one, go and check it out, where I talked about the freeze panes options for your top row and for your first column. But sometimes the information that we want to freeze in Excel, the columns that we want to lock as we scroll left to right or up and down are not necessarily the top or the first options on the left. We want to pick and choose and you can do that as well. So in my example here in my spreadsheet, I would actually probably prefer to have columns A and B frozen because then I know the full name because I might have another Kevin or another Lisa probably not going to have another Clarissa, but you never know your luck. So this way I can see exactly who the individual is because I've separated out their name. I also want to have my top row. So I actually want to do a row and two columns frozen in one move. And I can do that again with my freeze panes. So I put the cursor, I click on the cell where the top edge will match what I want to freeze at the top of the page and the left edge will freeze what I want to have frozen on the left hand side. So this is going to freeze the top row and the first two columns. If it was down here it would actually hold row two would sit at the top as well but it's that top edge of the current cell or the active cell and the left edge. They define where the freeze will happen and then from the freeze panes tab we drop down and there's the first option here is to freeze the panes and it's based on your current selection. So if I do that, you can see we've got some lines appear and as I scroll down, my top row is there and as I scroll across, the whole name is there. So handy if you want to have, say, a name and a department because you might have two Steve Smiths but one might work in sales and one might work in accounts as an example. If we ever change our mind and think, oh, that's not what I wanted to do, once you've got something frozen, whether you've chosen a preset or not, the freeze panes option at the top turns to unfreeze and you can simply unclick. Give it a go. See how you can manage your data more effectively, particularly when you've got those big unwieldy sheets and you need to know what column K stands for.